Well, there are a lot of reasons I've decided to live in a tiny house. Um, probably the first and foremost would be just because it frees up my time otherwise. So all of the time I would spend earning money to pay off a mortgage or rent can be spent um, doing things I love to do. I don't have much housework now either. It makes the whole place glow at night. I just stick a match in there and light it, and it does a great job of keeping the whole place warm. So I've got recycling and trash, which I never take out. The lot of space down there. The bathroom becomes the shower. I have another door over here to protect the window from water as well. And that works out pretty well. The little composting toilet is down here. And I can pull a plastic curtain in front of that so that it doesn't get wet. I just don't like the idea of spewing tons of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. I know that the average American house puts out 18 tons of greenhouse gases per year. And, you know, that's not even including all of the uh, consumption that's involved with, you know, materials and also just heating fuel. I think so much of the size of our houses and, and, the, and the rapid growth and the amount of square footage occupied per person has to do with the acquisition of stuff. And you think about there's a whole new industry now around organizing all of your stuff. And you can hire professionals to come in and organize your garage and your closet. And really that speaks to having a lot of stuff. And if you have to organize it and you don't even know what it is, you sort of start to wonder, well, do I really need to have as much as I have? And I think that the time of American excess has really begun to shift and people are starting to identify what's really important to them. for a long time in California, so you use less paint on your house over, a, over the lifetime of the house. I've had several people, the young people, that just want to downsize. They just say, I'm getting rid of stuff. I'm having garage sales, you know, I have, all the, I have three sets of china. What do I need three sets of china for? So there's just a thought process that's going on where people are saying, okay, if global warming is really a big problem, how much help am I by changing light bulbs to fluorescent? It's going to take a major rethinking of everything we do. As to, for them to be able to set the standards so we actually aren't setting the protocol for what this green is all. Um, and we have, I think right now we're working like with eight different listings. And I think there's other alternatives for a little bit more space involved. Um, you could spend the same amount of money for what these particular homes are costing to just do an energy audit on your home and lower the cost of running the home you actually already have instead of saying I'm abandoning this and making myself smaller because I have a smaller impact. 